speed, a cause for taking a batter by surprise, and a source of great entertainment for the opposition and the viewers. But have you ever wondered how these speeds are recorded within an instant? The speed displayed on screen is the speed of the ball at the point of release. And one commonly used device to calculate speed is the radar gun. A radar gun can emit and receive invisible waves, known as microwaves. To understand the behavior of these waves, let's observe a duck on a pond. The flapping creates a disturbance that travels along the water in the form of waves. Notice that, in a second, there are a certain number of waves that pass by a fixed point. This is what we call the frequency of a wave. Now, as the duck moves, the pattern changes. We see more waves passing by the point in the front, increasing the observed frequency as compared to the actual. This phenomenon of apparent change in frequency is called the Doppler effect. And the same principle is employed by the radar gun. The microwaves produced by the gun have a certain frequency. When these waves interact with a stationary ball, the waves reflect back with no change in frequency. But when the ball is traveling towards the gun, then the frequency of the reflected wave appears to be increased. And this change in frequency between the emitted and reflected wave is detected by the radar gun to bring live speeds at the speed of now. But since 2001, an alternate technology has been used to calculate speeds. Any idea what that is? Comment below and stay tuned to Wicket to Wicket.